Hey folks, in this video we are going to talk about using or having Google Docs submitted as assignments in Moodle because it's a little bit confusing and there's different ways of approaching it and I just want to give you some sense of the, the recommendations or, or the approaches that I think might be helpful. So one of the things many of us love about Google Docs is the fact that you know a student has it in their Google Drive, they're not going to lose it, you can go in and you can add comments, you can see the progress, you can look at the history, like there's lots of those cool features. Uh, so we look to maximize using them and one of the challenges with Moodle is that you can technically submit a Google Doc as an assignment, as a submission. Unfortunately, the way that Google Doc handles them actually changes things up. So we're going to walk through what that means here. So right now I have an assignment in front of us. I'm logged in as a student and this is what happens when you submit a Google Doc as a, as, a, as a document as opposed to submitting a Google Doc as a link. So I'm going to select Add Submission. It's going to bring me to the good old submission page and it's going to say, do you want to drag and drop? I'm going to click on the arrow and I'm actually going to use my, so I have different options. I can upload a file, I can, you know, go through my private files here on Moodle or I can do, a, uh, grab something from my Moodle, uh, sorry, my Google account. So I click log into my account. It's going to say, Are you sure you want to do that? I'm going to say, you betcha. And it's like, are you sure, you sure, you sure you want to allow this? I'm going to say, yes, I'm okay with that. Now it brings me in. It gives me my two main drives currently in, in Google, my shared drives and my, uh, my own drive. I'll select that. I can actually search. So if I wanted to do, I'm just going to throw an agenda and see what pops up and Okay, this looks good. Uh, actually, I want to choose something that's a Google Doc. So this is a Word Doc, so I don't want to choose this. But these other items are Google Docs. So I'm going to just randomly grab this. It's going to say, are you sure you want to do this? Select this file. I'm going to say, you betcha. And now it has been submitted. But I want to show you something. I don't know if you caught it, right? Once we come down here, we look at this file. I want you to notice it's been changed to an RTF. Now what is an RTF? It is a rich text file. Now what the heck does that even mean? All that means is it is a universal document file. You can open up a file with an RTF extension in any kind of word processing program. You can open it up in Word. You can open it up in uh, Pages. You can open it up in OpenOffice. It is a universal file format for documents. So if you're noticing what happened was Moodle took the Google Doc that I just identified in my Google Drive and converted it into an RTF. So what it's really doing is it's not giving me access to the live Google Doc. It's taking a snapshot of that Google Doc at the moment I selected it and turning it into an RTF to be part of the Moodle system. Right. So it's so basically it's it's separating it from that original Google Doc. So let's just go through. I'm going to hit save changes and I have now submitted that. Great. On the other hand, I want to now take a look at what it means to submit a Google Doc as a shared link, right? So if I have, um, if I have my students submitting it as a shared link, it's going to be something different. So I'm going to add a submission, and what I'm going to want them to do is actually to paste the share link into this area. So I'm just going to pull up a Google Doc I happen to have on hand. I'm going to come up here to the share feature. And I am going to select, you know, in this case, anyone with the link can view it. Uh, you might encourage anybody with the link can comment on it. Um, something like that, depending on what you're you're using this for. Obviously, for your if it's an assignment, you'd want folks to be. You, if the students are submitting as an assignment, you'd want to be able to comment on it. And I'm just gonna pop that in there, and then I'm gonna hit save changes. All right, I've submitted the, the assignments. Uh, I'm going to now switch back to my role as the instructor. Now I'm back as the instructor. I'm in this, this is the Google Doc submitted. And I'm going to scroll down. Somebody has submitted it. That was just me in case you forgot. And I'm going to hit grade. Now, 
what's now happened is here it is as an RTF, right? And so I can download that. Uh, if we have the right feature, which we will soon, I'll be able to grade and do comments on it here. But it's now separated from that Google Drive. From that Google Drive. So anything I do here won't show up on the student's Google Doc. It'll show up here in Moodle. If we contrast that with the, the link submitted, then if I go to grade, what I'm going to get is here is the link. Now I can click on the link and oops, I will typically look to click on the link, uh, open it in a new tab. Um, you can do that by right clicking on it and selecting um, open in a new tab or you can select the control button on uh, at least on a PC and then click and it will open it up into that new tab. So now I'm in that Google Doc. If I'm in that Google Doc, that means I can go in and edit and adjust and all of that. But that is the real difference. And so it's worth thinking about what makes most sense for uh, your students and for how you want to give feedback, for where that feedback sits. Uh, you can still do grading in here. You could still have your rubric in here. You could still do major feedback in here. But if you really want the line, it, the lined comments and the like to be in Google Drive or to be on that Google Doc, then you probably want them to have the link. If you really just want a snapshot and you want to be able to give that feedback and have all of it in, in Moodle, then you will probably have them submit it as a, as a document as we saw. So I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much.